have you guys done over the winter? I don't know about you, but I'm getting excited to go karting. Speaking of karting, I got a new one to go pick up. Let's go get it. Let's just take a few minutes to remember the old 94. I don't know about you, but when you get a cart and you spend dozens and dozens of hours together racing and going through experiences, they have a bit of a personality to them and you kind of grow a bond with them. It runs. Okay, so we're in the car and we're driving. I've never done a driving video before. I gotta make sure I don't run over any kids. Heading up to Red Deer. And uh, we're gonna go see, we're gonna go pick it up. I actually paid for this cart over six months ago. And it's been sitting in a storage locker in the United States and it's been traveled up to uh, Canada just a few weeks ago. Um, and it came up just before all the, the uh, coronavirus bans. So luckily the cart made it into the country. He tells me to come in the parking lot for a white truck. There happens to be four other white trucks in the parking lot. Pretty awesome. I found them. <laughs> Can you tell me a little history about the cart, where it came from? The cart started off as the ch chassis from one of the guys with the Ruthless Karting team out of Phoenix. Uh, he had ran it in the Challenge of the Americas series last year. The guy from Belgium, Christoph Adams, came out and ran with the team, ran the chassis that one event, won that. So I picked it up in Phoenix, brought it back home with the intention of racing a little bit down in Calgary last year. The cart's fast, so it's OTK. So we're going to have a good time with it. It should be a good one, yeah. Awesome. Well, I'm hoping to come up and have a time to race here in the road time. Yeah, absolutely. If we can get racing this year. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to get down to Calgary too. <laughs> okay, here we are. We made it back. back and join me over the next coming weeks as we get this cart ready to rock and we'll see if we can get on the track later this summer. <sighs> Alright, are we done? We're good? Everything's good to go? So I've never done a driving video before. I'm not really sure what it's all about. I'm just gonna talk. Heading up to Red Deer. It's not that far away. I'm gonna go meet a fellow carter out of Edmonton. Last fall, we discussed about getting a new go-kart and replacing Mr. 94. We sold number 94 into uh, someone in local in the Calgary area, so I'm really excited to see that cart again show up at the track later this summer. Um, it was a great cart, and I'm just looking for something that's a little bit different. It's a little bit more flex to it and has a little bit of a different characteristic. What's going to happen with the racing this season? Well, not really sure. I can tell you the executive has been doing an excellent, excellent job with regards to managing the club. Um, they've been they're sending out emails on a regular basis to all the club members and trying to keep us all kind of aware of what the issues are and what the provincial government says is recommended practices. For now, it looks like the month of May has been suspended for carting, which is not that unsurprising. And we're very optimistic that maybe some of the restrictions will start coming off here in the next few weeks and then we can maybe have a season later this summer. In the meantime, our cart is very fortunate in that we have quite a few members and our cart is doing, our club is doing quite well. Um, and we do have some cash accumulated over the years. And so some parts of the racetrack are gonna get touched up during this lull in May. So they actually have guys going to the track 
they're going to be modifying some of the corners and fixing some of the areas that were a little bit bumpy and when we get back to the track later this summer we are expecting to have a significant portion of it with new asphalt so a lot of members of the facility are very excited about that and uh, when you do see the next patch of races um, the track will be a little bit different and some of the corners are going to get reshaped to deal with the problems we've had so what kind of problems have we had the track well a couple of the corners have been very tight and kind of have a pinching effect on it and i've been involved in a few different crashes like i've never really it's not true i have crashed but i've never really been in a serious crash myself it's just been kind of little bumps and stuff and you know the little bumps have you know has resulted in some people spinning and that kind of stuff um, but nothing that I consider like a crash, just, you know, a little bit of contact, right? Um, but some of those contacts were the result of, you know, the track pinching in in a few spots. I think what they're going to do is try and open them up a little bit so that there's a little bit more conducive to passing and trying to encourage a little bit more space for people to get around each other. Other than that, I think that everyone's really excited to get going for the season. And uh, for this year, definitely going to stick to only one class my biggest reason for sticking to one class is just time consumption I'm uh, you know running multiple classes takes more time and uh, and time is definitely a precious commodity and I think everyone everyone over the age of 20 realizes how important time is <laughs> and the older you get the more precious it becomes so so yeah time considerations is really the issue our club is switching to a new tire this year, so we're going to be switching from the Vegas to the Mojos. And uh, as a, we did that switch as a result of Rotax sponsoring the club with uh, some championship engines. So this year in the tra championship, there's going to be a lottery system to try and to see who wins some um, some engines. And I think we had a couple different Rotax engines that are going to be given out as prizes. So that's pretty amazing for having a club that actually is able to give prizes away that are of significant value like that. That's uh, that's quite something. Um, I'm looking forward to the Mojo tire because the Vega is an excellent tire, no complaints. Um, the Vega tire lasts two race days very easily. The third race day is quite negotiable depending on your driving style. And so I'm hoping that the Mojo tire is just a little bit harder and I'm hoping that it'll last that third day a lot more easily. And if that happens, that third day being able to be competitive on the third day with the Mojo tire, will save our racers a significant amount of money on rubber. In racing, it really doesn't matter how fast your tires are as long as everyone's on the same tire, but consistency matters a lot. So it's nice to have a tire that is very stable and consistent through its life. The Vegas have been pretty good for us and we're optimistic that the Mojos will be as good or better. Um, we'll, we'll see, we'll find out this year and I'll provide some comments. What do you guys think? What do you guys run for tires? And what have you found to be the best tire for your club?